Iran has no conceivable reason to be enriching uranium. Iran would need 200,000 centrifuges to build fuel rods for its Bashir power reactor. So its claim that it needs these centrifuges to make fuel rods is false. Iran has said that maybe it needs uranium enrichment to make medical isotopes or fuel plates for a research reactor in Tehran. It is far too many centrifuges to do that. And even more frightening, Foreign Minister Zarif recently said that Iran wants to use its enrichment uh, capability to sell enriched uranium to other countries to, to, to make some money. Now, the prospect of a nation that developed its nuclear program in secret and in violation of UN Security Council resolutions selling enriched uranium on the open market, I find truly frightening. Who will they sell to? Cuba, Venezuela, North Korea? I'm just hoping Zarif was kidding, but I'm concerned that we conceded this in the nuclear talks. So here's my bottom line. And, and I, I believe this is a really bad deal that the Obama administration has tried to hide from the American people by inundating them with technical data. So I'm just going to make this very clear. Uranium enrichment should have been a deal breaker. When Iran said it would not agree to a nuclear deal without enriching uranium, it was saying it did not want a nuclear deal. It did not want a deal that would stop it from pursuing nuclear weapons. It is inconceivable and frankly indefensible that the United States would agree to a nuclear agreement with Iran that allows it to enrich uranium at all, any uranium enrichment, any centrifuges. We don't allow our friends to do that. It was inconceivable we allowed Iran to do that. But the Iranians are savvy negotiators. They knew what this meant. When we gave this up, we told them, whatever you want for a deal, we will give you. And we've now seen this on verification. We've seen this on sanctions. We've seen this on plutonium. We've seen an agreement that clearly will allow Iran to develop advanced centrifuges during the deal. And I think it's pretty clear that the Obama administration's account of advanced centrifuges has not been true. 